time with Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimahullah. Ibn Abdullah ibn Mubarak was an amazing personality. Out of all the imma, the only imam who was never disparaged was Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimahullah. One year he would do jihad and the next year he would do hajj. He lived in a place called Merv, Merv, Central Asia. And he would travel every other year for hajj. So he goes for hajj, like many of the hajjis have now come back from hajj. And he reaches Merv and he reaches Hajj. He performs his Hajj. And after performing his Hajj, he's sleeping. And he sees a dream, two angels descend. And one angel says to the other, he said, how many people have performed Hajj this year? He says, 60,000. He said, how many people's Hajj has been accepted? He says, not even one. Not even one. Besides one man called Abdullah ibn Muqaffal, a cobbler from Damascus. He didn't even attend the Hajj. But Allah accepted his Hajj. Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimahullah wakes up in the morning. He's deeply concerned about this. He's shaking, he's perspiring. And he hurries to Damascus. And he reaches Damascus and he asks the people of Damascus, do you know a man called Abdullah ibn Muqaffal? And they direct him to his house. He knocks on the door. Abdullah opens the door, he asks him name, he says, Abdullah ibn Muqaffal, he says, what's your profession? He said, I'm a cobbler. So he says to Abdullah, he said, I want to ask you a question. I saw a dream and I want to ask you about this dream. So he relates the dream to him. And Abdullah ibn Muqaffal says, I'll tell you, I am a cobbler. And I had a deep desire to perform Hajj, because, but because my income is very little, for the last 20 years, I have been saving up to perform Hajj. For the last 20 years, I've been saving up to perform Hajj. And this year I had enough money to perform Hajj. And he said, my wife was pregnant and we, she smelled meat from the neighbor's house. And you know, pregnant women, when they smell something, they want it there and then. So she asked me to go and ask neighbors for the meat. So I went to the neighbor's house and I knocked on the door. And the lady opened the door and I said, my wife is pregnant and you're cooking some meat. Can I ask you for that meat? Can I ask you for that meat? And the lady said, the meat is halal for us, but it's haram for you. And Abdullah and Muqaffal, and Abdullah and Muqaffal said, how is that halal for you and haram for us? And the lady said that for many days, my children have had nothing to eat. They've been starving. <laughs> And today I was walking on the street and I saw a dead donkey and I cut the meat from the donkey and to feed my children I came and the meat that I am cooking is that meat of the donkey. So it's halal for us and it's haram for you. And Abdullah ibn Muqaffal says, I went home. I bought all the money that I had gathered for 20 years and I gave it to this lady and I said, this is my hajj. He didn't even perform Hajj, but Allah gave him the reward for performing the Hajj. Isn't it so funny how we all walk around? Never even thinking of the days under the ground The drive and ambition taking over our lives For this world, for the fame, for the power do we strive